animation showing the polar vortex slamming the United States. This is NASA footage. This is, of course, the latest polar vortex because we've been having them every winter. NASA Goddard, desperately cold weather is now gripping the Midwest and Northern Plains, the United States, as well as the interior of Canada. The culprit is the familiar one, the polar vortex. This is on what's up with that. I'll leave a link below for you for this. As we can see, a large area of low pressure and extremely cold air swirls over the Arctic with strong counterclockwise winds trapping the cold around the North Pole. But disturbances in the jet stream and the intrusion of warmer mild latitude air masses can disrupt, disturb the polar vortex, making it unstable and sending Arctic air south into the middle latitudes. And this is what we see happening. This has been the case in the late January 2019. Forecasters predicting that air temperatures in parts of the continental United States will drop to their lowest levels since at least 1994, with the potential to break all-time record lows for January 30th and 31st, with clear skies, steady winds, and snow cover on the ground, as many as 90 million Americans could experience temperatures at or below zero degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 18 Celsius, according to the National Weather Service. The map on the top of the page shows air temperatures at two meters, that is around six and a half feet above the ground, at 9 a.m. Universal Time, that's 4 a.m. Eastern Standard, on January 29th, 2019. This is represented by the Goddard Earth Observing System model, that GEOS. GEOS, GEOS is a global atmospheric model that uses mathematical equations run through a supercomputer to represent physical processes. And the animation shows the same model data from January 23rd to the 29th. And the figures are not traditional forecasts, but a reanalysis of model input, that is a representation of atmospheric conditions on those days. Measurements of temperature, moisture, wind speed in directions, and other conditions are compiled from NASA satellites and other sources, then they're added to the model to closely simulate observed reality. And we can see how some portions of the North Pole, the Arctic, are close to the freezing point, significantly warmer than usual for the dark of midwinter, while masses of cooler air plunge towards south, the interior of North America which is colder than the North Pole. That's a strange thing to see. As you can almost feel that cold in its natural color image, acquired January 27th, 2019, by the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectroradiometer, MODIS, on NASA's Terra satellite. Cloud sheets and lake effect snow stretch across the scene as frigid Arctic winds blew over the Great Lakes. National Weather Service meteorologists predicted that steady northwest winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour, were likely to add to the misery, causing dangerous wind chills below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the same as minus 40 degrees Celsius in portions of 12 United States. A wind chill of minus 20 Fahrenheit can cause frostbite in as little as 30 minutes, according to the Weather Service and meteorologists at Washington Post said that temperatures on January 31st, 2019 in the Midwest U.S. would uh, likely be colder than those on the north slope of Alaska. I'll leave links below for you for this. All this is from NASA's Earth Observatory Images, Joshua Stevens using GEOS 5 data from the Global Modeling and a simulation office at NASA GSFS and MODIS data from NASA's EOSDIS LANS.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.